Alright, so my PS4 does this thing where it gets stuck in a, um, uh, update loop, I think it's called, or a, uh, it, it, it looks like this here. Um, I have one of the original PS4s. I have one of those right there. But anyways, it gets stuck in an update loop. Um, it it does this, you know, maybe once every couple months or so. It, it's been doing this. I've had them since they first came out, and it does this. And I uh, I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube about how people do it and stuff. How people have this problem and how they go about fixing it and stuff. And I've seen a lot of stuff, a lot of different methods for fixing it. But um. My method that I've been, learned to use when fixing it, and that's usually foolproof, is uh, it goes into this, and I uh, just unplug it from the back. I know they say you're not supposed to do that, but that's what I do, and it seems to fix it. So I just I I told myself that the next time it did this, I was going to record it and upload it to YouTube to help maybe someone that has this problem that because it, it, it can be frustrating and you can. Uh, have to install all your crap again on your PS4 but this is what I do anyway so I'm gonna show you right now it's, that's the uh, the screen that comes up when you turn it on when it's stuck like that I go in the back right here and I unplug the uh, the main power cord from the PS4 and I'll leave it here for about probably I don't know, like 30 seconds, just long enough for it to power down completely, and, you know, I usually plug it back in, uh, restart it, and it'll, uh, it'll go normal. I'm going to sit the phone down while I plug this thing back in, it's hard to do with one hand, and then I'll, uh, I'll show you when I turn it back on here in a sec. Start this sucker. All right. So as you can see, I'm restarting it. And there you go. So that there pulls it out of the loop that uh, that that it goes into the uh, update loop or whatever. I forget exactly the term that's used. There's a few different terms that they use, but I hope that helps someone. Um, if it does, great. You know, 
because I know how frustrating that is. There's a few times I've had to reinstall everything all over again, and I had to get a hold of PlayStation at one point because I didn't know my, I didn't remember my password and stuff for my account because I had it for so long. And but that's that, and I hope that helps someone. And uh, yeah, so have a good day and try it out because it does work. It's uh, it's not recommended, but. I mean, because they say you're not supposed to unplug your PlayStation, but it but it does work. It's it's better than the alternative, which is going through a bunch of bullcrap and looking on YouTube for an hour and pulling your hair out trying to figure out how to fix it. So that's that. All out of you.